Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be an RPG show lace front unit. So these are the products that I'm going to be using, which is my got to be, my Aussie Instant Freeze, and my Luster's E Nutrients Slick Stick, which is basically a wax stick and will help with any flyaway hairs that you have. So I would highly suggest making sure that you have hair clips at all times. They're great for pin curls, they're great for keeping hair out of your face. For styling tools, I just think that they're really important and they're definitely a necessity when you're doing your hair or someone else's. So I always have a lot on standby. I'm also going to be using one of my favorite brushes, a comb, a hot comb, and my curling wand. So let's get into this, you guys. So the unit that they sent me is their 20 inch, 200% chocolate or rather chocolate brown ombre remy human hair lace front wig i do believe the parting is probably like about over six inches this is the silky straight unit you can get it in various colors as the ombre color and you can also get it in the yaki hair texture which is probably really really pretty and you probably wouldn't need it in 200 percent density so when i first got the unit the first thing that i did was i bleached the knots and i just made sure to use my purple shampoo on the inside the lace cap so there wasn't any brassy tones and as far as i see there aren't any dry ends on this lace front as well so i did let it air dry after bleaching the knots and then the next day i went ahead and i pre-plucked the hairline with a good pair of tweezers so and now what i'm going to be doing is taking some of my got to be luxury style mousse and i'm just going to just brush that on where i want the part to be in the unit this is a lot easier for me to style this on the mannequin um, versus styling it on myself just because it just takes less time and you can really see it a lot better and plus the curls always come out better when i style it on the mannequin head i'm just going to take my hot comb and i'm just going to press the hair down just right where i want the part to be so this is just me training the part um, you can also do this when you wash the wig, but I didn't do that. I just don't even do that anymore. I just, you know, let it dry. And then I'm just going to take the hot comb and I'm just going to just gently go down the hair, just kind of like thinning out the edges, or not thinning out the edges, but just allowing the edges to lie flat so that way it just looks a lot flatter, more natural, and so forth. The wig is actually really nice. I do like the color in it. You know, the density is nice. It does look longer than 20 inches. The hair texture is still soft and the lace is like bomb, for real. Like you don't even see the lace. Once I put it on, you do not even see the lace. And they said this was medium brown, but I really believe it's a light brown. So either way, the lace is perfect. And I'm just going to just hot press it just a little bit more. I don't need it that straight because I'm going to go ahead right now. I'm just going to divide the hair in half so that way I can keep some of it out of my way while I am uh, just doing my curling styles. So now on to the fun part, okay, which is the styling. I'm going to be using my got to be flat iron heat protectant. Along with that, I'm going to be using the smooth operator um, hairspray by got to be. And I'm just going to take my curling wand, press it against the hair, and just wrap the hair around it. And just probably count to like 15, 20 seconds. And then once I release the hair, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get one of those pins. And I'm just going to set the curls with the pin. You can hold it in your hand for probably like about 20 seconds, but that just takes too much time. Plus, the curls will come out a lot more bouncier if you just allow them to sit in the hair hairpin. So that's basically what I'm going to do for the majority of the style. It's your preference of which way you want to curl your unit. I mean, like basically which direction, but I'm just going to go under for just basically in the back. And then once I get towards the front, I'm going to go kind of like going backwards or not backwards, but yeah, kind of like backwards. Um, the curls are going to go um, back towards the hair versus going towards my face. So you guys will see that in this video. And I don't, um, I don't have a lot of hair in on the curling barrel, but I don't have a little bit. It's probably like a nice medium amount of hair. Um, I didn't want the curls too tight, and I didn't want them too small. So I'm just going to just do like a medium amount, and you know, just make sure that you clip it once you're done. And as for the hair, it's very soft, like I said. Um, the hairline was good when I got it, but you know, it's up to you how you wanna customize it. The hairline, like I said, was decent. I did see like a little couple of knots, like quite a few knots, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and just give it a more natural look. So that's the reason why I bleached the knots 
and um, I didn't really tweeze a lot of the hair but I did tweeze enough to where it gave me that natural look and some of the bleach didn't lift all of the knots because I get kind of paranoid and I don't want to put it on too heavily the uh, mixture I don't want to put it on too heavy and I don't want to leave it on too long so in certain areas where I didn't put like a lot of the bleach the knots were still kind of like you know visible which were basically at the very front of the hairline and those I just basically just tweezed out so that way I wouldn't have to re-bleach anything um, it didn't shed the only time that it shed is after I pre-plucked it normally I wash the units after I pre-plucked them but because this was straight I didn't brush out any curls or anything I just left it as it is and just you know styled it so of course it did shed but those are not really hairs that shed it's just hairs that I had brushed out the unit and didn't catch all the hairs but I like it for the most part like I said you can get a variety of colors in the unit um, in different color browns I think this one is like a number three or number four I'm not really sure but it came out really really pretty um, I like it. it's a lace front you know you can still put it up in a ponytail you just gotta you know finagle it but for the most part the hair came out super cute and I think it's well worth it So I'm just going to go ahead and take the curling barrel and as you guys see I'm kind of like going in a different direction because I want the front curls to kind of like you know um, cascade against my face um, as you guys will see and I didn't want to show you the whole entirety of me curling the unit because you guys get it and after a while this becomes a little bit kind of boring so you know this is the final outcome of the pin curls and I left them overnight I'm just going to put some of this got to be hairspray in it and that's about it. So when you get your RPG show wig, your your unit will come in a box just like this, which says bold and sexy hair. And inside the box, um, you do get a wig cap, which is like this brownish color. Um, you also get this wig bag, you know what I'm saying? And you also get a um an elastic band. I should have used that, but I don't really use like the elastic bands unless it's kind of like a full lace. I don't really need them like that. They're, they're not like my number one priority, so you know, I don't go all out for the elastic bands. And the name of this wig is the J Marie 001-S and it's a silky texture, 20 inches, 200% density, and the lace color is medium brown. It's like an ombre kind of like thing. I think you can also get this in light yakky hair as well. One thing about RPG shows lace their lace always seems like to melt in your skin like not back in the days when they first started of course but like over the past couple years their lace has been like melted like you don't even see it I love the one that I got from their sister company because it just like it's so undetectable so this one is also the same way plus it has like this nice like durability to it so you know it's just going to lie flat and as you guys know they do have like really good lace frontals because you get a nice lengthy amount of parting plus you also get the combs here on the side and then there's the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape and also a piece of lace which you can cut off and you can use it to adhere your wig if you wanted to like to do like a bun or something so you guys we're gonna do this wig video real quick so that way I don't have you guys here all day okay okay let's go hey guys so let's get into this portion right here this is just really simple this is the styling part and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that the ear tabs are situated and I have the wig on evenly like I said to make sure that you get some clips because they do come in handy and a nice pair of curved small scissors to cut the lace away I don't really want to cut too close to the hairline because I don't want any of my hairs to fall out eventually they will over time if you have your wig or the lace cut too close to the hairline so I just cut a little bit underneath it and the wig fits good I didn't have to cut off any excess lace around the ear tabs or anything like that it actually fits well but there is one tiny tiny little piece of lace that I will get back to which you guys will see even the smallest piece of lace will make the hugest difference especially if it is sitting like or resting up against your hair so you just want to go ahead and continue to cut the lace off the unit Now it's time for just my sideburns. With this lace wig, you don't even need any baby hairs because it's just so undetectable. So the only thing that I really like is some sideburns, especially for the RPG show wigs or their sister company, My First Wigs. And the first thing that I do is 
normally I will sculpt the um, sideburns and I'll also cut some hairs for baby hairs but being that I don't need that in an RPG show wig because the lace is so great I'm just going to put a little bit of my styling mousse on the edges of the wig and the styling mousse is from the Dollar Tree and it's the salon selectors um, for this portion of the video the styling part or you know the application part and I'm just going to brush the hairs the hairline down like a certain way so that way it kind of like looks like baby hairs but it's not really baby hairs but it just gives it like a really natural look and I'm just going to just kind of like touch it up because I didn't really want it too thick at the edges so I'm just going to thin it down a little bit like so you guys you can't even see the lace now on to my favorite hairspray which is the pump it up super hold I've been using this stuff for probably like about 12 years I love this stuff it works like glue honeys it will glue your wig down even though it's not glue your wig will be held down for days and then what I do is I take my blow dryer on cool and medium heat and I just take a styling tool and I just dap it into the edges of where I applied the product and I just blow dry it until it's you know just dry this can take like a minute or two but trust me it's well worth it I do believe that it's a lot better than you know putting a headscarf on and you just want to repeat those steps for the following day or excuse me not the following day but the opposite opposite side so once again I'm just going to go ahead in on my edges and just brush the hair mousse into my edges you can use whatever hair styling mousse you want like I said I get this from the Dollar Tree it's only a dollar it works it's great I don't like to use gel I don't like to use glue um, so I just use this method with the styling mousse and the hairspray and hunties let me tell you there is no messy residue left on my lace cap or my hair as well as that as it'll hold for like three days as just as well as the got to be gel will hold so you guys may want to rethink the products that you're using especially if it leaves a, like a huge cleanup mess now on to styling this unit she's absolutely gorgeous and I do apologize um, about the lighting because I just should have just shut the windows the blinds so that way I could just use my light but I wanted to do natural sunlight and this is what happened you guys so this is it okay let me tell y'all first of all some people are probably like rpg show is a little bit more pricier than other wig sites yes they are they definitely are but i will say this like their lace is one like when i put it on i don't even see it okay so like i'm not sure if it's the color or the 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 fabric of it but like honeys you don't even see the lace anywhere okay like you don't see the lace anywhere on my hairline i will throw this baby up in like a ponytail like for real you always gotta make sure you glue right here and you will not even be able to tell like what lace like okay so it didn't come like this i did bleach the knots in the unit okay i did do that hunties and I did pre-tweeze some of the hairline on the unit. Um, I take my time. It probably took me like an hour and a half to do this one. Only because I just like to take my time. So I do part and section. So I like I have four different groups. Like, you know, here's group one, group two, group three, group four. And then I just take me some um, clips. And I never do the exact hairline first. That's always last because it's just last. The hair did come this color, which is really pretty. I like this chocolate brown color. It's really gorgeous. Um, 
what I did notice is on this side right here, the roots are more um, on the chocolate brown side versus on this side. You know what I mean? But that is no biggie to me. I don't even care because you can't even tell. And then the roots are just like natural color. I'm not sure if they want to call that black or whatever, but it's not too dark. So I do like that most. And the bleach knots, they came out really well. I used the 30 developer and you know, that's it on it. I let it sit for like 45 minutes on the wig and no problem at all. So the hair does have like a lot of bounce to it because I did leave those pins overnight 200% density really decent wig did it shed well it was just shedding just now but I'm gonna tell you where it came from because I know exactly where it came from so this is the process that I did with the wig when I first got it I bleached the knots and I let it air dry overnight or that same day I think it was like the next day the next day I went in and I got my tweezers and I pre-tweezed the unit pre-plucked the hairline and then I brought it upstairs and put it on my mannequin and just let it sit there until I was ready to style it so normally what I do depending on what type of hair texture it is I will wash the wig after I pre-tweezed it because you know when I'm pre-plucking the hairline or pre-tweezing the hairline I'm brushing throughly through it I'm not brushing throughly but I'm brushing through it to catch the hairs that I have tweezed out and this goes for like kinky hair curly hair wavy hair those type of wigs I will have to rewash them over especially if I have just started plucking away at the hairline so if it's like a straight or a body wave I don't bother to rewash them because there's no curl texture no curl pattern so I can just easily just style it the way I wanted to um but unlike curly or wavy I definitely have to rewash it if I want the curl pattern to you know return but for the most part okay this unit is gorgeous I like the RPG show wigs I do because the lace like is always perfect like I don't have an issue at all with the lace it'll stay on for days when I wear my wig like this like okay back in the days their lace was not like this we all know that but you know they evolved some and of course their prices did go up but they do have some really nice lace so I will give them that you guys this is like the perfect lace always for me but I will leave all of the information below for you guys. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a coupon code like always. Make sure you follow RPG Show on social media. And let me know what you think of this one right here. This is a nice length for 20 inches. Like, okay. Hmm. RPG Show, you throwing in a couple extra inches there, I'm saying. If you're interested in any of their units, take a look down below for the link. I'll leave you all of the info. I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you make, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, share it with your friends and family, hunties. And I'll see y'all in a soon-to-come video.